Guys, I've got a confession to make. I, we here at NCIX Tech Tips, we, we actually do have legs. You only see us from the waist up so I could understand your confusion, but nope, look, that's, it's a leg. We have legs, so that's, now that we've cleared that up, uh, let's do some tech news. I think most of us can say we wanted Google Fiber to be really successful so we could all eventually partake in the glorious gigabit future, but apparently the program isn't doing so hot. According to a report from The Information, Alphabet CEO Larry Page cut the size of the Google Fiber team in half, partially because Fiber hasn't reached the 5 million customers they aimed for within five years. The service launched in 2010, and by the end of 2014, it only had a paltry 200,000 subscribers. Pah. Now, Fiber did just go live in Salt Lake City a couple days ago, but Google has delayed plans to launch in other cities, as it's reportedly considering switching to a wireless model rather than laying cables. Uh, Google, there's no, there's no fiber in the air. You can't just, you can't just call it wireless fiber, okay? I mean, maybe if you threw some Albran up there, I don't know. Earlier this week, information about the next PCIe standard 4.0 circulated among tech websites, mainly fueled by a report from Tom's Hardware. That report claimed PCIe 4.0 would support up to 300 watts of power through the actual slot, which led to a slew of articles about how next-gen graphics card would all be powered only from the slot, no additional power connectors required, hip hip huzzah. Well, turns out that was too good to be true as Tom's Hardware kind of misinterpreted the data. PCIe 4.0 cards may draw more than 300 100 watts total, but the power provided by the slot itself will remain at 75 watts, the same as current gen PCIe. So, the future got a little less exciting. But we'd all rather live in the real world instead of a made up one, right? <laughs> And a few salty MacBook users are fed up with having to watch Windows laptops get all the cool external GPUs, so they've started a Kickstarter for their own model. The Wolf, with an E, because that's rustic, is a fancy looking Thunderbolt 3 dock for a GTX 950 or a 970 if you get the Pro model. Although its makers are looking at adding the GTX 1060 after the Kickstarter ends. The developers, who call themselves the Wolf Pack, of course they do, say the Wolf enables high performance applications, games, and even VR on MacBooks if you got boot camp. Windows laptops have a bunch of options now when it comes to external GPUs, but if you like ye old Wolf, it works with Windows too, so we're still better. It's time for... Central Park. Uh, holy crap! Uh, that was amazing! <laughs> I applaud you, sir. Uh, also, why was Jack the one who was trying to catch me? You should have known better. Thank you for your submission. Uh, the rest of you, send us a clip of yourself saying quick bits or snippy snippets or lightning round or... Shorter news story said more quickly than the others, to be featured on Netlinked. Microsoft has canceled Halo Online, their PC-only free-to-play experiment. The game was technically only available in Russia, but many internet folk managed to play it in other places anyway. The servers actually went online last December, but players were waiting to hear whether it would return. Well, it, it won't, so. Justin Roiland, I'm not sure if that's how you say his name, the co-creator and voice talent behind Rick and Morty just founded a VR game studio with an appropriately weirdo name, Squanchtendo Games. Yeah, that makes sense. Ubisoft is delaying the next couple expansions for The Division in order to focus its energy on fixing bugs and game balance issues. Are people playing The Division right now? Might as well be talking about No Man's Sky. Ayo! <laughs> Today, Thermaltake launched the Core G3 Slim ATX PC case, which is another smallish model that supports full-size ATX boards. And owners of iOS devices will want to update their OS version, as apparently links being sent through text messages are being used by hackers to inject malware. Those hackers, oh, they'll get ya. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. 
Nebe prisikis ke aigopus tlapelia dovum. See, but when I googled this, it corrected it to Nebe prisikis kakopustelia dovum, which to me sounds much more proper. So if you haven't seen it all over Twitter and our own videos recently, NCIXPC is in the Intel Extreme Rig Challenge. They're building a sick PC centered around an Intel Broadwell E processor, and if you vote for them by tweeting, you could be entered to win that PC or one of six others at PAX West. But NCIXPC has sweetened the deal a bit because by voting for them, you're also entered to win a GTX 1080. And also, you can win more entries by referring your friends to the contest. There's just so many options. This is a little bit like a build your own sandwich type of situation. Uh, click here or the link in the description for all the details. It'll be less confusing. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here, Twitter, namely. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna shimmy on out of here. I do have legs, as we've established, but sometimes I just don't like using them. That's my choice.